Hey all, I'm actually in my home office editing the video that you're about to watch. And I wanted to communicate because this month I was planning on putting out a video about the New Testament and historical method, but with everything going on in the world with COVID-19, the truth is um, that my heart just wasn't into working on that project. Um, many of you will know that I'm also a youth pastor and right now there is an incredible need for digital content in order to help youth pastors and youth ministries connect with students online. And so what I did was I uh, pivoted and I actually created a mini series entitled God and COVID-19, which tackles what's going on in the world right now from a Christian worldview perspective. If you're interested in getting this video that you're about to watch and the rest of the series and small group questions and a social media package to help you and anyone else you wanna share it with, you can find all of that by going to the link in the description and filling out a little form there. I want you to have it for free. Um, so enjoy the video that you're about to watch and thanks so much. The world is changing pretty quickly. And if I'm being honest, I feel like I'm changing pretty quickly too. Like with everything that's going on in the world with COVID-19, I bet some people are being drawn closer to God, but I bet at the same time, some people are being driven further away. Cause it's like, where is God in all of this? Why did he let this happen? And does he even care? The heart of God has something to say to the depression and anxiety and the worry and the panic that we're seeing on the news and on social media. And if we're being honest with ourselves, that we're seeing in our own hearts. I want you to imagine a path. The path symbolizes a journey through a hard time. Walking the path, however hard it becomes, means making it through to the end but on either side, there's a ditch that we can fall into. On one side is complete despair. On the other is denial. Falling into either ditch will take us off our path. And I don't think that I have to give too many examples of how COVID-19 can bring despair out of us because we miss our friends and going to school and we're mourning the lives that we feel like we've lost but it can also bring denial out of us. When this first started, some reactions were, everything's gonna be fine. This isn't the end of the world. This isn't going to affect me. It's tempting to deny the suffering, but people are truly suffering and people are dying. And so I wanna see how Jesus responds in the midst of death. The greater context in the book of John is not just that Jesus reflects the heart of God, but that Jesus is literally God in the flesh. So we're going to look to Jesus to try and understand the heart of God. In John chapter 11, Jesus receives a message that one of his best friends, Lazarus, is sick. Now, at this point in history, Jesus is already well known as a healer, but before he can get to his friend, Lazarus dies. Now, it's clear from what Jesus says to his disciples that he actually plans on raising Lazarus from the dead. But what I want us to pay attention to is how Jesus responds to this difficult path that he's about to walk. Since Jesus knows that he's going to raise Lazarus from the dead, despair doesn't really seem like an option. I mean, what is there to worry about? Jesus knows that in just a few moments, everything's going to be fine. But even though Jesus has hope for what's about to happen, what he does next is truly, and I mean truly remarkable. He doesn't miss that there is deep hurt in the hearts of Lazarus' family. And rather than rushing past it or denying it, the heart of Jesus is revealed and he hurts with them. Twice in this interaction, Jesus breaks down and weeps over what's happened and what's happening. And so the way Jesus walks his difficult path is maybe different than the way we might have thought initially. There's hope, but there's also hurt. There's hurt and also hope. You see, Jesus shows us that it's okay for our reaction to the world today to be hope and hurt happening together, happening at the same time. 
Jesus reveals the heart of God to our current situation. Yes, he has a redemptive plan, but he also isn't denying the hurt that exists in our story the way it is. He has a tender heart that's actually hurting with you as he's journeying with you. My prayer for us and really myself is that we'll be able to walk this path that hurts the way Jesus did with great hope in what's to come.